Hello everyone, we are going to learn how to uh, replicate this nice little uh, text carousel that I just created with a little bit of CSS. So this is really great when you want to, to have this like in a uh, e-commerce shop, maybe at the very top of the page, uh, especially on mobile, so that you can advertise some special discounts, some uh, shipping offer or the spring collection. So let's jump right into it. So to replicate this, the first thing you'll want to do is to go into your page or your other template if you want this at the top of your page and create a new section. Uh, we'll be using the adding uh, element to create the text. And then we'll be filling in so a few texts. So let's call this one, uh, check the spring, and uh, it will need a class name. So let's call it text carousel. Let's set the color to white, and then let's set the style of the background to black. Okay, so at least it will fit with my uh, footer. Let's center the text. Uh, all right, and then let's add some padding in the section, maybe 10 padding, 10 pixels padding would be good. Okay, so that's good. And of course, with only one uh, title, it doesn't really work. So let's at least add another one. It will need a different class name. So Let's also give it the class name text carousel, but let's add two because we will uh, be making this using CSS only, no JavaScript. Uh, so they need to have different class name in, in this case. With JavaScript, there would be a way to do it uh, with, with the same class name, but with CSS only, we'll need to, uh, they will need to have the same class name. And then let's add a 10 pixel AX so that they overlap. Perfect. And finally, let's enter a different text so that we can see that everything is working. All right. Now we'll add an HTML element. This is optional if you have Elementor Pro. With Elementor Pro, you can add the CSS directly in custom CSS. But I like my tutorial to be available for everyone. So if you have Elementor Free, you can just add the HTML element instead of using this uh, CSS. And then write in the uh, style tags uh, without any typos if you want them to work. All right. So, and now finally, let's add the CSS. So I will be providing you with three CSS uh, code snippets, one for two text, the other for three text, and the other one for uh, four text because the, uh, yeah, again, we are using CSS only for this. So there just isn't really a way with CSS to uh, have the same code for many of them. We would need some JavaScript for this, but we want to keep the design simple. So uh, we are going to avoid uh, JavaScript and instead just, just use this little uh, uh, CSS uh, code snippet so as you see, it's already working quite well in the editor. Another thing you will want to do is to go in your section layout and set the overflow to hidden. All right, and then let's refresh and let's update. Let's refresh the page. This one add four text. Now we should only have two. Uh, it looks a bit different also because the margin is set uh, differently, uh, but everything seems to work just fine. Yeah, so it works just beautifully. There is a little bit of a gap in between the animations, so I will show you how to adjust this to your liking. So essentially, the only part you want to change is the keyframe itself. This is the core of the animation. And we'll change just the percentage of when, uh, which point is reached in the animation, what properties are active. So the properties are fine as they are. Really what we want is just the timing. So let's make it uh, maybe, let's say like 44. So it will start a bit later. And then let's say it's like 52. So there will be 
well, let's go as fog of 54. So, so that there will be a, a small uh, overlap. And let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, so it's good. It's, uh, it shows up earlier than before. And if we would like even like more overlap, we could try to have something like 50, maybe 46, 56 would be, uh, would be great. So let's have a look. So yeah, it almost looked like they are coming one right after the other. I really like the look of, of this with, uh, with these kind of settings. So we'll keep it like this. Uh, in the code provided, uh, it will be uh, this one right there. So that's for two of them. If you want to add another, it's very easy. You just duplicate the adding element that's positioned absolute. Uh, and then, of course, you can give it a name, uh, a different uh, text. And if you would want to change from text carousel 2 to text carousel 3. Now, of course, you will need to use the code snippet for tree text. So this one, let's just copy and paste. And finally, let's update and let's have a look. So now we should have all tree texts. So this one also has a little bit of a gap. Let's actually give it a little fix right now. So let's say, uh, I think 30 to 36, so that we cross right in between at the 33% line, which is a third of the way to, uh, because we have three texts, so each one of them uh, will fill in at like 33%. So let's have a look now. Yeah, and it's pretty great. So that it's as easy as this and it will work fine for mobile. You can add links that are clickable in there. The only thing is that there is no posing this. So we cannot pose it like an overlook or something like this. We would need some JavaScript for this, but there can be some links that are clickable and everything will work fine. So I hope you have enjoyed and I uh, please uh, subscribe for similar videos.